Peace. Good evening, everybody. I had to get on here real quick. I'm a little irritated, so I'm going to go ahead and share with y'all. I just was listening to a, a brief little clip that I seen. It was like a real, I seen it on Facebook, and it was Aerie Spears making some comments about Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. And um, he went as far as saying that Angel Reese is garbage. If there's something that aggravates me, it's 100% when somebody who has no knowledge of basketball speaks on basketball like they know what the fuck they talking about. And uh, this is something that you hear a lot. There's a lot of hate and very, very evil shit associated with Angel Reese. I don't know where it came from or what triggered it, but I've never seen nothing like that uh, directed at a rookie and People are so delusionally critical of her that, like Ari Spears, he says she's garbage. I hear a lot of other people say that too, right? Dennis Rodman is a Hall of Famer, I believe. He won several NBA championships. I believe, yeah, he won NBA, NBA titles with the Bulls. Dennis Rodman is a Hall of Famer. Dennis Rodman was never no prolific scorer. Dennis Rodman would have games when he had no points, but dominated the boards. Angel Reese is a problem on the boards, and she's a forward. I, I, this is some new shit that's, that has, I don't know, become normal in terms of Kaitlyn Clark and Angel Reese, the comparisons. Since when was it normal to compare a point guard versus a forward? That don't make any sense. There's no comparison between the two. They play two totally different positions. One handles the ball, the other plays with her back to the hoop. And when I hear, um, you know, people offer terrible views and, 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 and opinions on, on basketball, especially this 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 Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark thing. It's very, very fucking annoying. It's very annoying. Angel Reese is an NCAA champion. She is. You don't get an NCAA title being garbage. Angel Reese as a rookie ran off um, double-figure games consecutively when she averaged or scored double figures and had double figure rebounds. These are great contributions to a basketball team. The Chicago Sky, they got a great pick in Angel Reese. And together, Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark helped resuscitate the WNBA together together and you hear um a lot a lot of rotten shit spoken of when mentioning these two young ladies you do, what you don't hear is how well they played together they played together they was on the same team i think it was an all-star team they played together and um there's a clip of caitlin clark doing what she do drive into the rim and dish the ball to Angel Reese for the layup. Angel finished the play. But you don't hear people talk about that. You don't hear people talk about them playing together. Um, you just hear, for the most part, people speaking about how bad Angel Reese is. And I don't fucking understand it. I don't. Re rebounding is a very, very integral part of basketball. Offensive rebounding is extremely important. So you have people who say she get all these rebounds from her own missed shots. That's not a problem. That's a plus. It's the other team's job to keep her off the offensive glass. That's the other team's job. She's a problem. That's a problem. 
when you have a player who can continue to get offensive rebounds. Ben Wallace was never no prolific scorer. He didn't. All he did was attack the boards. Charles Oakley was never a prolific scorer. All he did was attack the boards. Dennis Rodman would go games when he would have zero points, one point because he missed one of the free throws. He wasn't even a good free throw shooter, but he would have double figure rebounds. And that was something that the Bulls needed, rebounds. He was doing his job, just like when you see Angel Reese out there on that glass, she's doing her job. And she's a rookie and she came into the league and she asserted herself and became a problem. She's a part of the scouting report. When you see a team about the break day huddle, it's a coach telling the rest of her the, the rest of her team, yo, y'all got the box Reese out. Y'all got to keep her out of the paint. This is a part of the game plan. You have to stop her from getting rebounds. You dig what I'm saying? You don't hear garbage guys, you don't hear garbage players name mentioned in the huddle. You don't hear garbage players mentioned um, in the scouting reports and shit like that. You don't. And for people to continue to compare the two, it's just insane. It's just insane. One play point guard and the other one play smaller power forward. Whatever the case, these are two totally different players. Totally different players. And uh, I was disturbed to hear that shit come out of Ari Spears' mouth because, of course, he's black and he's a man. He's a man. And I, I was really, really disturbed by it because this is someone who's not really successful. See, um, the Internet is a place where people who are no longer successful continue to show their face. You dig? Because they don't have any place to go. Ari Spears ain't selling out no shows. Nobody's coming to see Ari Spears. Ari Spears ain't in nobody's uh, movies. Nobody's coming to see Ari Spears. And Ari Spears has never been favored by black people. We've never, ever thought highly of his comedy. He's never been funny to us at all. And primarily where you see him is on Vlad TV or just on um, camera, looking sick, looking sick. He's in terrible health. You see the bags under his eyes and slight jaundice, and that's something that he needs to be worried about rather than being online, kicking dirt on a young professional athlete who's doing her thing. That's all I had to say. I think I covered everything. I, I got everything off my chest in regards to the Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese thing. You don't have to dislike one or the other. They both great at what they do. They are. Caitlin Clark is a great scorer. She's a great ball handler. She's great at what she does. Angel Reese is a great rebounder. She's a great anchor in the middle. That's what she do. If she wasn't good at that, LSU wouldn't have won a national championship. Then that's just the facts. So um, I'm I'm done with that. It's something that I just hate seeing it. I hate seeing people, especially in regards to Angel Reese. Whenever Angel's image is showed online, the comments is full of hate. And it's very, very disturbing. It's very disturbing. It's very disturbing. Last I knew, uh, the Indiana Fever and the Chicago Sky, neither one of them was a playoff team or neither one of them did, you know, much this past season as far as success, team success, as far as, as, far as team success. So there's nothing to be doing a bunch of, you know, boasting and bragging about for either or either either player, either both players can continue to um, improve, and that's just what it is. Uh, Angel, you see her a lot on online. You see her a lot online because she's a pretty girl. That's what it is. You don't see Caitlyn as much because she can't 
she's she's not physically as attractive as Angel Reese. Um, I'm, I'm I'm sure she got an endorsement deal for sneakers and shit like that, but Angel Reese can have a second career if basketball doesn't pan out. She can always you know do some type of modeling of some type. So that's just something that I I wanted to get off my chest. But um, Eric Spears. You fat, sick-looking ass nigga. You need to check yourself and um, reevaluate your opinion, man, when you get more knowledge of basketball because rebounding is a very, very integral part of basketball. When I see people say that she's garbage, I'm like, how the fuck did you come up with that? Rebounding is very, very fucking important and shit. It's very important. And for a rookie to come in the, into the league... And run off those types of stats. Angel Reese is having big re rebounding games. 25 points, 20 rebounds and shit like that. That's Moses Malone caliber shit. I don't understand where the fuck y'all got the fact that she's garbage at. It just don't make sense. Anyway, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get the notifications. As always, it's hip-hop, sports, and fashion over here. Aries, get a life. Peace.